the incredible adventures of the Hera Mission. Hera is ESA's high-tech explorer with a mission to investigate an asteroid duo, Didymos and Dimorphos. Right now, Hera is on the ultimate long-haul commute in what mission scientists call the cruise phase. But it's not as luxurious as that may sound. Space is a realm of extremes. As Hera leaves the sun behind in her rearview mirror, one side of her can be extremely hot, while at the same time the other can be extremely cold. Hera needs to be room temperature for her electronics to work properly. She has glitzy multi-layer insulation blankets to keep the cold at bay and radiators to dissipate unwanted heat. Hera is functional and fashionable. In March, Hera will approach the planet Mars. She's going to do a little bit of sightseeing, using her instruments to study the mysterious moon Deimos. She'll also take this opportunity to practice autonomous vision-based navigation. This involves tracking features like craters, using them as reference points. This is how she'll navigate herself when close to the asteroids. But the main event is swooping close to the planet, stealing a bit of its orbital energy to boost her speed without using any extra fuel. Careening around Mars at 9 kilometers per second, the red planet will be like an astronomical roundabout, changing Hera's trajectory and slingshotting her on toward Didymus and Dimorphos. Since these asteroids are zipping along their own solar system racetrack, Hera's route has been carefully planned to intercept them. Data from Earth-based antennas using quasars as galactic signposts allow Hera to pinpoint her location and stay on track. As Hera travels further into space, our home planet shrinks to become nothing but a tiny point of light. She needs to orient herself so that her antenna points back at Earth with extreme accuracy. Hera uses this antenna to send telemetry reports, so Mission Control knows everything's tickety-boo. Thrusters? Fine. Insulation? Cozy. CubeSats? Still secure and snoozing in low power mode. Every now and then, Hera gives them a nudge to make sure all systems are operational. Back on Earth, scientists dive into these signals, analyzing every blip and bite. Hera's cosmic road trip will take a little over two years. Eventually, her asteroid framing camera will spot Didymus and Dimorphos, first looking like a single dot moving among the fixed stars, but eventually splitting into two. Then, the next stage of her mission will begin.